When you had that third failure in a row, mm -hmm. did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. At the age of just 12 in 1983, self-taught kid Elon Musk developed a video game called Blaster. Who would have thought at that time that a kid who coded a game would go on to become a game changer in the history of mankind? Elon Musk, the Iron Man of real life or a crusader against the challenges threatening the humanity? Or should I call him a futuristic Star Trek character living in the real world? Whoever he is, he is nothing short of a godly human. I mean someone who dreams of colonizing human race on Mars, someone who is running the cars on freely available energy sources like electricity, and someone who wants to brighten the entire world with solar energy and wants to make the transportation to run at the speed of 800 miles per hour, has to be someone beyond the realms of an ordinary human. At a tender age of 24, he clearly figured out that the internet, sustainable energy sources, space colonization, artificial intelligence and genetics were going to be responsible for human evolution. And then he took the first most critical decision of his life to chase his vision. Year 1995, he dropped out of a graduate school at Stanford University to start an IT company named Zip2 along with his brother Kimball Musk. This was his first step towards liberation of humanity. He knew that internet would soon bind this world and humanity in a single thread. In 1999, he again founded X.com which then became a billion dollar company called PayPal that changed the way the people used to transfer money forever. But it was just a humble beginning as compared to what he was about to achieve. His story is all about what he wants to accomplish for the humanity. He dared to hold visions that takes courage to be pursued. He's not for money, he represents an idea. And that idea is to liberate human race from all sorts of energy crisis and natural resources scarcity. His life is not about enriching his own coffers, but enriching human lives, enriching the future of human race. He could have easily ventured into profitable businesses, he already had a successful venture of PayPal, but he wanted to create something that can address the issues that this mankind is facing today. He was driven more by the idea of revolution and innovation. And that's why only a man like Elon Musk can risk his entire worth on a rocket. Yes, you heard it right, a rocket. In 2001, he envisaged landing a greenhouse on Mars. And for that same purpose, he set out on a journey to Russia to procure intercontinental plastic missiles to achieve his vision, but was rejected three times by Russia. The cost was way beyond his reach, but his vision never got blurred. He decided to build his own company to make rockets for the same purpose. He put $100 million of fortune into his company that he gained when PayPal was acquired by eBay. He named this company as SpaceX. He risked everything for a vision of seeing human race one day on Mars because he thinks the human life should be multi-planetary. He could have invested this sum in real estate, building malls and housings and could have made a huge chunk of money. But what to do when money is too small a reward for the potential you hold? The feat that he wanted to achieve was priced way beyond any money or financial gains. But it wasn't easy to accomplish the unimaginable. During the period from 2006 to 2008, three SpaceX rockets called Falcon were tested and failed. Almost all the investment Elon has raised went down the drain and he was left with only two options. Either to put entire fortune at stake for one last test or pack the entire program up and close SpaceX. But his dreams and vision were way bigger than the fear of losing everything. He was representing humanity at that point of time. If he had given up, the millions of hopes would have dashed with that as well. He risked everything and went ahead with the test. This was an arrival of a man who held a potential to change the fate of mankind. 
Even an organization like NASA was impressed and gave SpaceX a contract of $2.6 billion in 2008 to fly American astronauts into the International Space Station in 2011 when their space shuttle was due to expire. It all happened because he never gave up. He never stopped believing. He dreamt of creating a transportation system that runs entirely on electricity and sustainable energy resources and making this world completely independent of fossil fuels usage. This dream of his brought him to Tesla, maker of electric vehicles. But the road was not easy at all. In 2007, when his dream project electric car named Tesla Roadster was about to enter production, there came to light some mismanagement and miscalculations by the director Martin Eberhardt which took the price of the car to the double than the original budget of $92,000. All plans fell flat. The crisis was looming large. But no crisis was big enough to derail his spirits and vision. He showed exemplary management skills, took charge of the company and removed the CEO and director. He started cutting the cost, closed offices all over the USA. And finally, his dream saw the light in 2008. He was able to launch Roadster with a marginal rise in cost. But the challenges had just started. Global meltdown in 2008 forced many financial hurdles on Tesla. But Elon Musk kept pumping the money through loans and selling his stakes and shares in other ventures to keep Tesla alive. The critics, the business houses, economists criticized the move of giving loans to such unconventional company like Tesla and bail it out but he proved everybody wrong. And then, finally, his electric car, Tesla Model S, proved to be a game changer, which was the safest car ever made in the world. Company started making profits, and soon the company repaid the loans and debt with interest. His hard work of 100 hours every week paid off. He filed for divorce during the same period, but nothing could deter him from working for his dream. He is working for the future. He represents an idea of making life better than ever before. He is working on concepts like Hyperloop, which would revolutionize transportation if materialized. That would run pods in low pressure tubes using renewable energy to commute between the cities. Speed of more than 800 miles per hour is possible to be achieved. His vision for the future is to run the entire world on sustainable free sources of energy like the solar energy. His venture Solar City is lightening up already many parts of United States and soon would become a worldwide phenomenon. He is investing in future. He is investing in revolution. He is investing in mankind. And if he kept going unabashedly like this, then one day this human race would see the light of salvation for the first time in the history of mankind. Whatever area that you get into, given that you know, even if you're the best of the best, there's always a chance of failure. So I think it's important that you really like whatever you're doing. Uh, if, if you don't like it, life is too short. If you like what you're doing, you think about it even when you're not working. It's something that your mind is drawn to. Um, and, and if you don't like it, you just really can't make it work, I think.